hi guys welcome back or if you're new here welcome to nikki's kitchen today we are making sweet and sour chicken and we are going to start off by coating the chicken in some butter and then deep frying the chicken for the butter you will need corn flour all-purpose flour an egg some water and salt and I'll have the exact measurements down in the description box I'll mix this in to make a nice butter this should be the consistency of the butter it should be as thick as pancake butter and I'm going to toss my chicken inside the butter I'm using six boneless thighs that I've cut into cubes but chicken breast could also work here or any other piece of chicken with the bone removed I'm going to coat my chicken make sure it's well coated with the butter I'll let this sit for about 10 minutes and this will make the chicken nice and tender while I'm waiting for my chicken to rest I'll go ahead and prepare the rice that I'll pair this dish with I have one and a half cups of basmati rice in a saucepan I'm going to add some salt and three cups of water I'll stir this in make sure the salt is well incorporated into the rice then I'll cover it and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes then the rice will be ready my chicken has been resting for 10 minutes and I've heated up my oil in a wok until it's really hot I'm going to dump in my chicken pieces one by one so that they don't stick to each other and fry this up and you want to make sure your oil is really hot otherwise the chicken will become soggy and the butter that we've used is going to make the exterior coating of the chicken nice and crispy and if you're wondering where my rice went I had to move it over to a different burner because the wok and the saucepan couldn't both fit here I'm using a skimmer to separate any pieces of chicken that may be stuck to each other then I'll let the chicken cook off until it turns to a nice light brown color after which I'll take it off and place it on a plate lined with a paper towel to drain off any excess oil this took me about 12 minutes and you want to remove the chicken once they turn to a nice light brown color not a dark brown one because we don't want to overcook the chicken I'm cooking my chicken in batches since you don't want to overcrowd your pan so I'll go in with a second batch and I ended up doing this with my hand as I found it was more effective than trying to pick up the pieces of chicken with a fork I'll follow the same procedure fry the chicken for about 12 minutes until they turn to a nice light brown color take them out of the oil and drain them on a plate lined with a paper towel I'm now going to start on making the sauce in which we'll coat the chicken into and for the vegetables I'll be using bell peppers both green and red one of each a medium sized onion two cloves of garlic and a small piece of ginger I'm starting off by dicing my bell peppers into fairly large pieces I cut them into quarters 
I'm cutting each quarter into thirds and each third into thirds again. I'm going to do the same thing with the onion. Cut it into half. Cut each half into thirds and each third into thirds again. You want to end up with fairly large pieces of the vegetables as they will cook down after you cook them so you don't want them to shrink too much. I'm adding those three vegetables into my saucepan and I'll go ahead to cut my ginger and garlic but this too will not go directly into the saucepan as I'm going to use them to make my sweet and sour sauce. I've crushed the ginger and the garlic with the side of my knife as you saw me doing and I'm now going to mince them into really small pieces with my knife. You want to be really careful while doing this so that you don't cut yourself but it takes practice. My knife skills were also not this good not long ago but since I've been practicing I've noticed myself getting better and better by the day. But you could of course use the mortar and pestle to do this but I didn't want to get mine out because I, didn't, I really didn't want to get it dirty than have more dishes to wash. So I've minced my ginger and garlic into small pieces. I'm going to put this into a bowl where I'm going to make my sweet and sour sauce. But before that, I'll get the vegetables going. I've added a little bit of oil to my saucepan, about a tablespoon. And I'm going to saute these vegetables for about 2-3 to three minutes on medium heat. While the vegetables are sauteing, I'll go ahead and make my sweet and sour sauce. To my garlic and ginger, I'm adding vinegar, sugar, and I know this looks like a lot of sugar, but we did just add a whole quarter cup of vinegar. Some tomato sauce or ketchup could also work great here and two tablespoons of soy sauce and I'll have the exact measurements of the sauce down in the description box. I'm going to combine this sweet and sour sauce and I'll check up on my vegetables to which I'll add pineapple and I know I know this sounds ridiculous but you have to trust me here guys. The pineapple is going to add a really nice flavor to the food and it also adds a nice vibrant color. I'll saute this for a few minutes and then I'll add the sweet and sour sauce that we've just made. Try and get it all out of the bowl and since there's a lot of flavor still left in the bowl, I'll make a cornstarch slurry in the same bowl, which is two teaspoons of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water. And this will help thicken our sauce. I'll let the sauce simmer for a few minutes until it's nice and thick after which I'll add my chicken and how funny would it be if I'd forgotten to add the chicken Then I'll coat this and look at how glossy that sauce looks and it tastes just as delicious it tastes so good and it also makes your house smell really really good and I know I say this for almost every recipe but I think this is the best thing I've made so far. It tastes so, so good. I'll combine the chicken with the sauce. Then I'll let it simmer for a few minutes. And that's it. We're done with the chicken. It's simply a matter of plating it and topping it with a few sesame seeds. And this chicken is bound to satisfy every Chinese food craving that you have. It hits all the right spots. I would highly recommend that you guys try out this recipe. Not that I wouldn't recommend the other recipes on my channel, but we have a winner guys. This is it. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one.